welcome to my channel my name is Sheena here at Sheenbala and I just wanted to do a little makeup tutorial it has been a minute since I did a makeup tutorial on my channel I have been kind of consumed with unboxing stuff and unpacking stuff and in this makeup tutorial I use the honey rose collection the welcome to the party palette that I got and I showed you guys in my um, my haul video and I also use the honey rose highlighter and what else oh nyx setting spray i'm gonna go to the gym and test to put the setting spray to the test one big like a rule that i have as far as setting sprays that i use is is it gonna hold up for me in the gym and we'll see how it does after my workout so stay tuned and let me know what you think uh you've told your mom you've told your dad you've told your co-worker you've told your church lady tell your mailman and lady to follow me here on YouTube. So let's see what we can come up with uh, with these looks. So yeah, let's jump into it. Start with the Welcome to the Party palette. You gotta be careful when you pick it up because all the product falls out of it. My first color that I'm gonna use for transition is like a golden rod. It's really deep uh, yellow kind of color, almost like a mustard. <laughs> so I'm gonna gently pat that into my upper lid and crease area and smooth that out a little bit with the Sephora crease brush. Next, I'm gonna pick up the orange and put that into my crease and buff that in ever so gently. I found that if you pick up the product and slightly tap it into your skin, then it blends a lot better than if you have a more forceful hand. So that is something I'm passing along to you. And lastly, we're gonna pick up this red on the Luxie Angle Shader Brush and kind of go in to the bottom of my eye with uh, at an angle with that red and bring it out just a little bit past the eyebrow for a little bit of drama. Gonna get that on both eyes. And then I'm gonna smooth out my blend with a clean shader brush from Elf. All men. All right, now I'm going to start on my face. I'm going to use the Fenty foundation and primer uh, for my face today. And just gonna squirt two, three pumps maybe three, this stuff, um, it doesn't really, it's not thin, it's pretty thick. So. Wanted to get my eyes out of the way and focus on my face. I um, was talking about the Fenty Foundation on Twitter the other day and someone mentioned to use oil um, with it as you blend it through. So I'm going to use my Queen Rose Hip Elixir, Queen Cos from Queen Cosmetics, the Rose Hip Elixir for, um, to see if I can't buff that in a little bit. So from there, I am going to use my Fenty Foundation. I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand and warm it up a little bit. Two pumps is usually enough. I got a Roll Techniques foundation brush and I'm just gonna put it on my face. Now from here what I'm gonna do is use my beauty sponge. I think this is Echo Tools beauty sponge. I get them from Target. Uh, they also have another one that comes in the package, this little white yellow one. They have the slanted sides. I like it. One is a long slant, one is a short slant, and I like it for a concealer. And then the bottom is really good. I'm going to use my oil and just dab it four little spots on the bottom of my beauty blender. And get that saturated in pretty good. Pick up the rest of what's on my hand. And then just press this foundation into your face, like a little more, like you wanna really press it in. So that way that helps get it into the texture of your face. Okay. 
and I'm doing a very light coverage. And like I said, I only use two pumps. And that's it for that. Make sure it is all blended in and that should be good. I picked up some of the LA Girl Pro Concealer uh, HD Conceal. Uh, something a little closer to my shade. And just gonna apply that under my eye. I'm not taking the products all the way under my eyebrow, or excuse me, my eyelids, just so I don't get too much kicked into the lines. This has like a pinky orange kind of color. It's not as light. I'm gonna use the same beauty sponge that I had and just work that concealer in. In the, in the same manner as my foundation, just kind of press it in. Then up my nose, up my forehead. Boom. Conceal. Okay, okay. It looks a little shiny. If you're oily, you may not want to use additional oil with your makeup application depending on what your skincare routine is. I put, um, after I wash my face, I normally do toner and then serum and then oil as my moisturizer, but it doesn't seem like it makes me that oily, so I don't mind using the oil. Um, I use rose hip oil. I've also done the um, Maraculia oil. I have no idea, I still how to say it like a year later. Um, so you know your skin better than I do, so use whatever oil uh, goes good with your skin. So from there, I am going to use the City Colors Contour Palette and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And just give myself a contour here. Here. Pick it up a little bit here. It looks a little dark now, but you're also going to um, blend it in some more with the setting powder and the um, foundation, like the powder foundation on your face. So just a little there and a little down here to sculpt out your chin. I'm gonna go back over my contour. Just to buff it up a little bit. Now I am going to set my face for the first time. This is the Pearl Essence Tonic Water, Aloe and Rose Water Tonic Water. I'm just gonna apply this before I put like dry powder on my face just to set what I have so far. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Light Medium to set all the places that I've concealed. I am gonna pick up a dry beauty sponge and this one is just like a regular shape teardrop type shape and I'm gonna pick up my powder on it and just dab it into the places that I put concealer actually we want to show you guys like how my setting spray holds up at the gym so I will film this and then go to the gym and then come back and show you guys how my setting spray held up. I'm gonna do this one with the NYX Dewy 
um, finish I talked about in my haul video. And then I'll do another look, another day, with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is really just a test to see how well the setting spray holds up at the gym. If it can hold up my sweaty ass at the gym, then it can hold down anything. I'm gonna buff my face out with the Sephora um, Matte Perfection Powder, and I use Warm Amber with this Ruby Kisses powder brush, large powder brush. So big circles. And contouring is a completely optional step. If you uh, feel like you are not skilled enough for contour or you don't need to do contouring, then that's fine. It helps to shape your face um, if you have uh, chubby cheeks or if you want to create more of a shadow in your face, you can use that technique to give your face a different shape. I've lost some weight, so uh, I try not to contour as much because then I end up looking like Corolla Deville because I don't really have fat cheeks, I just have high cheekbones. So you have to, like everybody doesn't put it in the same place. So sit down sometimes, play in your makeup, figure out what looks best for you. If you, I've seen a lot of like copycat videos where I'm gonna apply makeup like Jackie Ina or I'm gonna apply makeup like Jasmine and it looks crazy because everybody's face is different, everybody's shape is different. The cool part about makeup is learning yourself and learning what looks best on you. This is just how I do my makeup. This may not necessarily apply to you, but I do get quite a few questions and I have kind of strayed away from doing makeup tutorials because, I don't know, I've kind of fallen out of love with makeup on myself. I love makeup, I love makeup culture, I love talking about makeup, I love buying makeup. I just had kind of gotten into this weird little funk where I didn't want to wear makeup and I don't know. But I'm back, so no worries. Now that we have that all pressed and smooth, we are gonna add a little color. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit. And I'm gonna go for that color Vegas right there. That color, I, I like blush. I'm not a huge, huge, huge blush fan. I'm gonna use this um, SL Miss Glam brush that I got from, what's the name? Ipsy? Wow, yikes. Let's see if we can buff that in a little bit. That texturized really bad. I don't know if that's a word, but that's what I feel like it's doing. Snatch these cheeks up a little bit. Um, go down my nose, go down my cheeks. My friend Trees taught me that. Uh, and it just gives your face like a really warm kind of color. I'm gonna take another um, blush brush and just kind of wildly buff it out a little bit to blend it in a little bit better to see if that helps a little bit and it did so that was cool now now i'm gonna go back to the eyes i have my face uh what i want done to the face part i'm gonna leave it be and then i will apply my eyeliner uh not anything too extravagant because like i said i'm just going to the gym to test really the well i'm going to the gym because i go to the gym but I'm going to test the setting spray. So I'm not gonna do crazy wing liner, or maybe I should because why not, right? <laughs> well, we're gonna put this shit to the test. So let's see. This is a, the Maybelline Master Duo eyeshadow, and it has a little like ball tip at the end. I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna pick that uh, eyeshadow and go under my eye a little bit with it. I'm gonna use the, the middle transition color, that orange. I don't wanna keep bringing it up because remember all, they're not packed in this palette worth shit. So they um, keep falling out and I can't pick it up to show you guys. 
I'm gonna use, I want a stiffer brush. What brush would I use? I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Um, blending eye brush. And bring it back around there to meet. Under my eye, I'm going to use the Lord & Berry black, um, just a regular black eyeliner. I'm not gonna go all the way into the corners. I have small little bitty eyes. So I try to give them as much dimension as I can. And if you don't take your eyeliner all the way in, it gives your appearance, like your eye, a bigger appearance. It makes them appear bigger. I don't know if that made any sense, but sorry. I have this uh, Beauty Concepts. I have eyeshadow all under my fingernails. That was so, this is so gross. Beauty Concepts Plump and Curl Mascara. Uh, it's just in my box. I think I got it from Ipsy. It's not all that. But I'm all finished on the Benefit, uh, their real mascara. And this is just what I have. Ipsy sends plenty of mascara, and I'm not like a mascara whore, so I don't care what mascara is, what mascara. I use just as long as it doesn't burn my eyes. Oh, girl. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and just clean my brows up here. Not clean them up, but like set them. And for lips, we have clear chapstick. And I got Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty makes such great stuff. This is Chutney. It's a sample. Uh, I have their, um, it's another lip they have. It's called Gaspacho. It's my favorite. Red. This smells so good. And it's pink. For me, it's almost like a true nude because my lips are kind of dark. They're not really super light and pink. Okay, let's get lashes, I will return. Lashes, all done. Okie dokie, now we are gonna set with the Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Get a nice coating of it on here. While that is drying, I put micellar water on a cotton pad and I'm gonna go around my edges and clean up um, the makeup that I got in my hair. And last but not least, a little bit of glow. I'm gonna use the Honey Rose highlighter that she sent me. Uh, I think it's called Get Money. Let's Get Money, Get Money. I don't know, there, it wasn't labeled. I went onto the website to see what the name was. And there were a couple, but I think this one is given. I am going to use this uh, Royal and Land Nickel. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty. I, I gotta give it to that. It's pretty. And... little down there. <laughs> Can you see that? It's pretty. I told you it was pretty. And a little on this side or a lot, whatever. There. It's like snowing here today, so uh, a little glow goes a long way. 
nose and eyes and ears and just kidding <laughs> all right i am done i'm off to the gym so i will see you guys in a second to see how this spray held up uh let's see you in a bit all right, I'm at the gym, so here we go. Let's see how this holds up. So I just got back from the gym. As you can see, I am all sweaty, yucky, gross. Uh, this is another Lady A um, t-shirt from AWOL, the gym that I go to, and also my hat. And it has my name on the back. Pretty cool, right? Don't forget, check the website for all your Lady A needs. But just wanted to give you guys a follow-up on my um the setting spray it lasted my whole workout like don't laugh at my hair and my workout hair but it really did i was surprised i tried not to wipe it i just kind of sweat and just let it happen to see what would happen and it really held down pretty well i'll get close up here so you guys can kind of really see what is going on with this but I think it did pretty good. So um, thumbs up, it gets a thumbs up for me. I know it can handle my workout. So uh, yeah, let me guys, let me know what you guys think about different setting sprays. Let me know what you think about the way the makeup turned out. What is your favorite small business? Uh, let me know, leave me details in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, I'm gonna take a shower.